Hey guys, Mr. Scuff here, and welcome back to the NASCAR 2015 Championship Mode Season number 2. And uh, today we're going on to the uh, dreaded Pocono Raceway uh, for another race that uh, I hope goes better than what I have at the moment. Um, so, uh, hopefully everything goes well. Um, I did make a brand new paint scheme for this, um, and I think you're absolutely going to love it. It is a, I've made a brand new primary paint scheme for this season uh, because the other one was kind of getting a little uh, run down by the other paint schemes that I had run this season. So um, I'll go ahead and choose that car. We'll also look at the point standings before we head in. We're almost 100 points ahead, so we are bound for some really, really bad races uh, because we've had uh, some pretty good finishes uh, in the past uh, a few races here. And we got our fourth win, of course, in the last race of Dover. So. Uh, yeah, we're almost 100 points ahead, and uh, we're looking on to Pocono and Michigan, a few of our worst tracks uh, coming up here, um, yeah, in the next few races. Uh, cars looking beautiful, and I think we're ready to get rolling here in Pocono, but uh, uh, I don't know how this race is going to go. I really don't know, so uh, hopefully this uh, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't go too bad. Um, we're here starting very far back. Um, you know, we've got decent speed. Uh, probably, I don't think we have winning speed, but uh, if we can go green flag uh, all the way here, uh, we might be able to pull some sort of pit strategy out, out of here and uh, hopefully be able to make our way towards the front here, uh, hopefully, um, using whatever strategies we can. And uh, I can already tell this is going to be, oh man, this is going to be a crab shoot right here. Look at this, four wide already, falling backwards quickly. We just need this thing to string out and get a little bit more spread out and we'll be fine, good to go. Because uh, this... I, I cannot drive Pocono. I just, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how else to say it. I just don't like Pocono in this game. Uh, I don't know. I think the AI drive it kind of weird, but, um, yeah. Nonetheless, first lap complete, back to 43rd. Oh, man, look at that stack up off of one right here. Everyone slid up the racetrack, and I was, I was catching quick. That, that was, whew, man. Three wide here, probably not going to work going into the tunnel turn. Oh, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Sorry, Josh. No. Got to loosen this car because it's it does not want to turn on the exits. All right, well, Michael Waltrip's out of the way, and we've fallen back even further from the guys ahead of us. But we're not last anymore, so hopefully we don't have to finish last today at least, because uh, that would just, eh, I don't, I don't know, man. So one thing I'm looking at right now is the fuel gauge. We're coming around to start lap 8, and we're around a quarter of the way through the tank. And that means we're almost a quarter of the way through the uh, race as well here with the uh, lap 8. So, um, yeah, I'm actually uh, going to uh, try to see if I can stretch this out. Maybe get some track, and maybe get some track position through the pit cycles uh, here, and uh, hopefully we will gain some sort of time on on uh, the on drivers ahead of us. Uh, if we were to take maybe a fuel only stop uh, later on in the race, or any at all, because um, I'm I have a strange feeling that none of these got that none of these guys will actually make it on fuel. Um, but then again, if you know it's getting a lot closer to halfway down the fuel tank and uh, hopefully there's something we can do pit strategy wise because we're not going to sit back here all race and just sit I don't do that so uh, we're going to have to f find something here the car's still plowing a little tight and uh, we'll get that fixed up in the pit stop if we pit take one but uh, yeah so hopefully um, we can figure something out here alright so it seems like we've got cars that are actually planning on coming down to the pit lane here uh, so I'll take a little bit wider entry into turn three here uh, so that we don't hit anybody um, if they slow down in the middle of the corner here. Uh, but I forgot that pit lane is actually a little farther on the front stretch than I thought. So we got two guys coming down pit lane. Looks like Ty Dillon and McDowell and Walt Michael Waltrip are coming down the pit lane. And uh, yeah, we're getting pretty close to halfway on fuel here. So uh, we're probably not, we're definitely not going to be able to make it on fuel. So I'll probably split this in half, 16-16. Um, yeah, so that we make it to the end here. Um, on the freshest tires we can. We've got more takers here. Another three cars. It looks like they're four wide ahead of us. Who's that? Casey Mears, Trevor Bain. Uh, is that Allgaier? No, no, that's Regan Smith. And then Vickers up there as well. Wow. Uh, how about that? Uh, seven seconds to Carl Edwards, the leader. 
Uh, we're starting to gain on these guys quite a bit here, uh, probably because they're racing and trying to get around other guys that are pitting. So that's the yeah, first on-track pass I've made in quite a while, there, believe it or not. But uh, we're back here in the very back of the field just trying to hang on and get this car to rotate and get going because that's our main issue is in the center of the corner and off and sometimes off the exits of the corner. It just does not want to turn. The car is beautiful on the entries of all of these turns, but it's just in the center and on the exits. They don't want to cooperate, so... The car does not want to cooperate, so uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, we can figure out uh, how to, yeah, how to t take on this uh, field uh, the later on it gets into the race. Uh, we're just now approaching halfway here, and uh, still no taker. Well, we got Casey Mears coming down pit lane right there, and uh, we're now in the top 30 through the pit cycle, and uh, hopefully, hopefully we can uh, come down this time or next time, depending on how many cars come down with us. Well. We might be coming in this time. I might stretch it a little bit more here. Yeah, I'll stretch it a couple more laps here. Because uh, I feel like the car hasn't fallen off. I'm going to take right side tires, actually, now I'm looking at it. I'm going to take right side tires on the stop and see if it actually helps me out. Because I'm seeing very little wear on the left sides. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to see... Oh, <laughs> took that entry a little bit too wide. But Brian Vickers into the back end of Trevor Bain. Wow, what a move right there. That's... Uh, but yeah, I'm for sure going to be taking uh, right side tires only on this stop. That's all I need. And this time here off of turn number three. Oh, man. Woo! Oh. Man, I don't know. I think we made it in without any, uh, without any issues, but, uh, uh, yeah, so. Whew. All right. Cool, we made it in. Uh, yeah, fill her up. Yep, car feels fine. Um, we should not be have. We shouldn't have uh, too much uh, to worry about here, um, unless we did speed. But I don't think we did. I think we got it down uh, far enough on speed. So, all right, we came out here. We're gonna go just barely a lap down, I think. Oh no, we're still in the lead lap, but the car is right behind me. Oh man, there we go. We're the first car lap down now. Oh, stuck three wide. <laughs> Woo! All right, well, we took right side tires, and hopefully it helped. Um, I don't know. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna see how this works out for us. We uh, we really need to get this car uh, up here and fighting. Uh, you know, we just passed Kyle Busch somehow, and uh, we're a lot down. I really think uh, this car feels a little bit better here. Um, hopefully, uh, yeah. Hopefully we can fight our way to get back on this lead lap here. Uh, we're we're in the dead center of the whole field though, which is the other issue. So hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully we don't have any issues getting around uh, other cars. And uh, we got a pretty darn good entry into turn one there. We're gonna go straight through these guys. We're gonna go three wide to get our lap back here. Oh man, look at that! That was sexy. Now we gotta get around Eric Amarola, who just came out of the pit lane. And we're gonna slide on in here. Slide up the track a little bit. Ooh! Woohoo! <laughs> All right, wow, that was cool, I guess. Holy crap, Kyle Busch. He drove around the outside of me and somehow stuck it. I mean, wow. I, I need these leaders to pit right now because this is too much. This is way too much. Oh, we just shot Denny Hamlin to the outside wall. <clears throat> Man, we're, we're sitting 36th right now, but these leaders need to pit we need these leaders to pit right now or else we're gonna be screwed uh probably with some damage on the race car that i don't need ah slam the wall a little bit right there no big deal still pretty clean for us right now but why are the leaders not pitting man i i just don't understand this i don't know why they're not pitting I and mean, they're driving i mean jeez. look at them Leaders, they just need to pit. All right, we got cars pitting, apparently. But how many cars are pitting? Oh my gosh, Casey Kane, why? Why? Why must you do that? Why must you go to my outside? Why? Ten to go, pretty much. And uh, we're making up a lot of time, actually. We're getting pretty close to uh, the top 30 here, which is actually kind of where I wanted to be at since our car just flat out sucked. But look at this pack of cars ahead of us, though. 
There are still quite a few leaders in this pack. I see Kozlowski. I know Bush is up there. I think Hamlin is up here. And some of these guys will be trying to pit here. So hopefully uh, we can find our way out here. Yep. It looks like all of the leaders are pitting except for Kyle Busch. And uh, we got a few cars that uh, are for position right in front of us here. Let's see what we can do with them here in turn one because... Uh, yeah, we're going to be fighting for some of these spots uh, to keep up this points lead. It's a huge points lead as well, so uh, we need to figure out what we can do here because I need to get as much as I can. All right, wow, look at this battle right here. Blaney, Dylan, and Biffle right here. Oh, man, look at Biffle checking on that outside lane. Oh, slid up a little bit into... Man oh, man, hit the wall a little bit there. Bush and uh, Gordon just pit. And now I think Greg, yeah, Greg Biffle is the last car ahead of us, that has lapped us, that is, um, uh, yeah, that is still out here, so, um, but the weird thing is, is that these leaders stayed out for so long that I'm actually ahead of some of the guys who did pit, which is very strange, uh, I don't know why they are this far back, but that, I guess they just didn't pit. Uh, for a very long time and now we're we have passed them and now we're ahead of them and they're trying to get their spots back wow with five laps to go now five and go. We're, we're looking to get ourselves an, a pretty good finish here uh, despite the circumstances and how the pit cycle turned out um, oh man we had to get down really far down in the out of the gas there and it actually worked out for us Hit the wall a little bit. No, no big deal. Well, we got a lot of pass cars behind us, and we need to go. Cause... Three back, coming low. Oh, man. This dogfight right here for position number 26 is no, is back. looking insane. Look at all these cars behind me, man. Less than three to go, and we're trying to hold off some of the fastest yeah. guys in the race. Oh, Casey Kane sideways off of the corner. Watch your inside. Car down low. We're losing time. Oh, man. Look at these guys shoving it in here, trying to get it every spot they can. Two laps to go, and I'm trying to fight to stay in this top 30 here. Uh, not doing so well. Yeah, the car's uh, not doing so hot right now. We're falling back quite a lot here. And, uh... Whew. One to go this time by. It's been an interesting race. Uh, That's yeah, I, right there, I'm not disappointed. We actually got more spots than I thought we would have for Pocono. Um, I don't know. I just... White is out. Final lap. Oh, man. I feel like uh, inside, this is a successful Pocono race. Um, I know what I need to work on for the next Pocono race. On the bottom, three back. Uh, I don't know. Two. One to go for left. us. Sitting 33rd right now. It's been caution-free. I think this is probably my first ever poking race that has gone caution-free. Uh, believe it or not. And us not being in last. But we're probably going to be last after this, thanks to Brian Vickers. But 36th is not the worst. It could be a lot worse. Sorry, I was trying to I was trying to use the D-pad to change the brake bias, but I, I don't know why it didn't work. And it, and it turned on me. So, anyways. But, um, yeah, here we come. Off the tunnel turn for the final time. JJ Healy is your Pocono winner. Holy crap. That, maybe we should have hit earlier because he was right in front of us pretty much in the pack. So uh, a little bit of a trip through the grass right there. <laughs> Greg Biffle with the best lap of the race. And uh, we're coming across the line. Oh, really 36. Wanted, what a race, man. JJ Healy, Jeb Burt, and Josh Wise. For the drivers that finished one two three wow and here we look at the point standings we're now 60 points ahead of denny hamlin so it's about 85 90 points beforehand and denny hamlin now uh moved up um yeah it's a second and uh, jimmy johnson now back down to third jj yaley though with the win today uh he's up in 19th so he will be in the playoffs which is gonna be interesting we're also going to have mcmurray Kozlowski, Stewart, uh, Kenseth for sure, and Bush, and Hamlin. I'm not sure if there's anybody else that uh, won a race this season. No, there wasn't. So, whew, 
Wow. What a race. Uh, that was... I don't know. I, I got a headache now. I, I probably should not have done this when I did, but... Uh, yeah, I'm feeling a little sick today, but uh, Pocono was uh, luckily not hard on me, so um, I'm definitely happy about that. Um, it was fun. Uh, we got a 36th place finish out of Pocono, and we go to, yeah, we go to Michigan in the next race, so um, hopefully everything goes well for us there, and uh, we'll oh, see you guys in Michigan.